Welcome to the third video about chess program in Go. Since the last time I have done some homework, I removed the tell as a parameter to a UCI and instead we say that main tell is the default function, the default value of tell. And the main tell look like this. It just to recapture. It uh, takes in a number of strings. It concatenates them and print to standard output, and that is the GUI. Okay, let's take a look at the UCI protocol. As we know by now. Standard input and standard output is the way to communicate with the GUI. We should always be able to process input from standard input, even while thinking. We end all commands with new line and we get from the GUI new line in the end. If we have tabs or space inside the command we should be able to handle that. Uh, unknown commands like this one, yoohoo debug, we should remove yoohoo and continue with debug. E2, E4, E7, E5, that is how the move looks like. E1 to G1 is a short castle and if we promote, we set the promote piece in the end, like here, the queen. UCI is the first string that the GUI sent to us. And that means prepare for the UCI protocol. And we need to reply with two ID commands, name of the engine and the author and our options, the options that the engine can can handle. And after that we say UCI OK and is ready. And then we need to reply ready OK. Actually is ready will come after it's and I think if I remember correctly. So first then uh, the GUI sends set options. The options that we have uh, given might be set by the GUI from the user. You see new game is a typical command when we will start a new game. And when always before the GUI send the think command, the go command, we always get the position command. So first the position command, how to how the position look like, and after that the go command. And then we have a number of sub commands, so call them sub keywords, um, and they can be combined in the same go, under the same go command. And sometimes uh, it can be strange. We have a move, move time and an infinite at the same time, for instance. When stop comes and we are thinking, we need to stop immediately and reply with the best move. What we think is the best move. And quit. Then we quit the program. Here is an example of the ID that we reply ID the name and ID the author, name of the program. And the best move when we think uh, when we are ready is best move and then actual the move. Info is something that the engine can send to the GUI with a number of different under sub commands. But one that is useful for us 
in the beginning here is info string we can send whatever we want after that and um, the GUI will neglect it or display it different GUIs handle it differently the options are um, we can have whatever option we want because the GUI have no idea what the option is but some options are uh, predefined like hash or ponder uh, what is predefined is what type they have and there are five different types um, we can have the check type or like here that means it's true or false and we can have for instance here the spin type it's a number between here is between 0 and 4 there is a type combo that is a multiple choice with here we have three values to choose between and uh, at one type is string and that is a string whatever and the button the button type is is another type so uh, let's look how the how stockfish use this for instance stockfish will send to the GUI uh, name threads spin type spin and so on ponder is type check uh, and the button here is clear hash and the GUI don't know anything about this it just built up the window for the user to fill in and first we get the UCI and we reply with all this ID and option and UCI OK and then the engine sends the set, up, set option to us and is ready we reply ready OK and we will get probably a new game UCI new game and the position uh, is always sent before the go command comes and all this info is information to the GUI about what we are thinking right now and when a stop comes from the GUI we need to stop immediately and reply with the best move what we think is the best move so let's start with the UCI command we have a case for it um, so why not call that function handle UCI and we have stop already handle stop and handle UCI doesn't need any parameters and is ready okay handle is ready and it will just reply ready okay and okay we have set option handle set option why not and we need the command in there in order to set all the options so let's copy this and build up the functions uh, we have handle UCI and tell ID name bingo and there will be more uh, so we do the others first here funk handle is ready it's just ready okay tell ready okay um, handle set option we need to set all the options but right now we cannot do that it's not implemented we have nothing to set because we don't have any real engine um now wait now command maybe you should have a slice of strings i think it's better so it's easier for us to handle so we can uh, just for now temporarily just 
print out we need to do a string a join here so we get a string from option so we can print that so we can send that to the GUI okay there are a few more commands to reply uh, handle UCI we have the author Corocans and let's have two set option two options uh, one is hash type spin default let's say 32 and minimum value 1 maximum value 1024 this is megabytes uh, tell next option it can be threads it's also a spin type spin uh, default one let's say minimum one maximum 16 what's wrong here uh, yeah we need to end the strings so uh, so let's make these uh, slice of strings from the command so call that words so we split the command string into words so and in this case it will con oh, we need to set that initialize that like this or well, in this case it will continue with the switch case down there but if it's the best move we will we have the continue statement so uh, we switch on the words the first the first command the keyword and set option we send the words back we need to trim we better trim and lowercase the first command so let's do that so i like this feature in go we just make functions as variables so trim is strings dot trim space low is strings dot uh, lower two lower two lower so it's much shorter to write down there okay let's try we do go build and we run bingo uh, hello bingo hello from uci hello from engine it's okay and now we are the uci uh, not the uci we are the gui because now we're running directly from the terminal and the program will run uh, read and write from standard input and that's exactly what we want and UCI, the command UCI from us makes the program return bingo and curric hands and two options, and that's perfectly okay. But UCI okay is missing here. We should have uh, read no UCI okay to say that now we are uh, we finished our UCI command and let's make that info string okay back um, stop nothing happens it's okay and now we send it's ready and we get back ready okay we say set options because there's what's happened here is that the 
GUI get two options, hash and threads. And the uh, user who used the GUI has the opportunity to set hash and threads. And if they do that, it will come back here as set options. If it's not uh, default values, default, if, if the user doesn't change anything, the default values will uh, be the one we use. Not implemented yet, and that's okay, and quit. The program quits, and we are happy. Chippy! Time for a break, and have a good day.